Turkish investigators found what they were looking for, so they packed up and moved on. Evidence they claim that Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi died inside his country's consulate in Istanbul and that the alleged perpetrators then tried to cover it up. The Turkish president added weights to reports there'd been attempts to drug Khashoggi first. My wish is that we reach a result that allows us to reach an opinion. Because these toxic materials, the fact that they were painted and taken out, right now the investigation into this continues. As soon as we will get the result, all depends on the result of the investigation. Unconfirmed claims of an imminent Saudi confession continue to circulate. The Turkish foreign minister said he'd received nothing yet. Maybe U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo will bring an update on that. He flies to Ankara on Wednesday, but Pompeo headed to Riyadh first for a brief encounter with the aging king, Salman, and then a longer meeting with his son, the powerful crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman, who was clearly out to de-escalate tensions. As a clear Saudi Arabia, they are really strong and uh, old allies. So uh, we face a lot of challenges together. Donald Trump wouldn't confirm a theory that Khashoggi's death was an unauthorized interrogation gone wrong. I heard that report, but nobody knows if it's an official report. So far, it's just the rumor, the rumor of a report coming out. This is where investigators are focusing their efforts now, the official residence of the Saudi Consul General, where they believe the perpetrators fled after killing Khashoggi. That as reports begin to emerge that the Consul General himself has boarded a plane and left the country. Just as 15 other Saudis are alleged to have done on the 2nd of October, potential persons of interest that may now be hard, if not impossible, to reach. Guy Henderson, CGTN, Istanbul.